And the Brooklyn pastor who made headlines when he was robbed of expensive jewelry during a live stream church service has been indicted on federal charges. Among the allegations against Lamar Whitehead that he scammed a parishioner out of $90,000. And to CBS 2's Christina Fan reports, this isn't his first time in trouble with the law. A normally flashy Bishop Lamore Whitehead was silent outside federal court as his attorney denied all fraud allegations against him. Good evening. The Brooklyn pastor, known for delivering sermons in designer suits and lavish jewels at Leaders of Tomorrow International Ministries, is being accused by federal prosecutors of obtaining part of his wealth illegally. Bishop Lamore Whitehead is not guilty of these charges. We are vigorously going to defend these accusations. According to an unsealed indictment, Whitehead asked for money and other Amen. things of value from victims using threats and false promises. He allegedly convinced a parishioner to invest $90,000 of her retirement savings with him, but spent it all on himself. He is also accused of extorting a businessman of $5,000, then convincing the victim to lend him half a million more and give him a stake in real estate transactions and return for favors from the city government, which Whitehead knew he could not obtain. The bishop was arrested Monday morning and pleaded not guilty in court before he was released on a half a million dollar bond. Yo. Yo. Whitehead has made news repeatedly this year. First in July, when masked robbers stole an estimated one million dollars worth of jewelry from him during a live stream service. You want to come preach? You want to come preach? You want to come preach? Come on up here. Then in September, he was briefly detained after clashing with a woman who interrupted him mid sermon. We feel that he is being targeted and he is being turned from a victim into a villain. The bishop has a criminal history and was convicted on 17 counts of fraud back in 2008. The 45 year old is now charged with two counts of wire fraud, one count of extortion, and one count of making material false statements. In Lower Manhattan, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. If convicted on all counts, Whitehead faces up to 65 years in prison.